Make sure you have enough room. Everybody back away from the camera. Now listen, it's going to be important. Make sure you back away from the camera. Back away. I think God, you got to back away from the camera. Because I can see all of you. I don't want your face to be this close. That's a little too close. So make sure you guys back away. All right, everybody, warm your hands together. We give you two fast tops. Go, one, two. Everybody bow, say to my best. Go, on, let's start doing some jumping jacks. Make sure you guys are counting loud. Give me lots of energy. Ready, go. Start doing those jumping jacks. Get those arms up. Get those feet apart. Get the moving and grooving. Get the moving and grooving. We got the arms moving. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nice. It's good to see you. Yes. Look at this. Nice. Nice. And relax. Good. Everybody spread your feet apart. Hands on your hips. Let's start doing some knee bends. Bend those knees. Get everything warmed up. Get everything warmed up. I did see a couple of questions about strength testing. Now, yes, we are doing it today. We're going to do it tomorrow, and we're going to do it on Friday. So if you haven't registered for strength testing, that's okay. You still have plenty of time. And to be honest with you, if any of these days don't work out, it's okay. When you sign up for your private lesson next week, you can always do a makeup strength testing then. So everybody stay nice and tall. Everybody put your hands up in front and start lifting your knees up. Start lifting those knees up. Go, I want to make sure you warm up those hips. Get those legs moving. Some of you guys are doing this outside. Boy, you guys are incredible if you're doing this outside. It's a little toasty out there. Lizzie, I'm glad to see you in the shade. That's awesome. Good, Prisha, good to see you out there. I like it. And now raise your heels behind you. Raise your heels behind you. Keep them lifting them up. Keep lifting them up. Keep lifting them up. Good. And lift them up to the front again on the hop. Good. It's going to be important. Got to get that energy out. Get all that energy out. And heels to the back on the hop. I think he just wanted to come in and join you. That's it. It's okay. Brothers are allowed. It's okay. And relax. Good. Everybody spread your feet apart. Everybody put your hands above your head. Reach down. Touch the floor. And relax. Everybody take a deep breath in. And reach down one more time. And come on back up. Everybody bend one knee, one leg stay straight. Good. And again, Alexa and Rachel, make sure you guys have your cameras on. That's the only way we can watch you do your strike testing. If you don't have your camera on, you won't be able to earn your strike switch other side. It's going to be important. Good. And switch again. Get a good stretch. Especially with all these kicks, because I know how fast you guys are going to do your combinations. And switch. And relax, everybody. Put the bottoms of your feet together. Reach down, touch your toes. And up. Everybody pull one leg back behind you. Switch. And switch again. And switch one last time this side. And arm across. Oh, what happened? Enzo, I thought we were in Club Enzo before. Switch with all those lights around. That was so cool. Now I can't see the cool lights anymore. And arms back behind you. And relax, everybody. Give me 10 good push-ups. Go. 10 good push-ups. Bend those arms. Get down low. Get down low. Let's rock and roll. Everybody, show me how you're standing tall when you're finished. Good. So, again, continue to warm up our bodies. Let's make sure we do a couple of kicks. Everybody put your right foot back in the other side. Yeah. Hands are ready. I'll wait. Don't worry. Get ready. Finish your push-ups. Get ready. Okay, good. Now, we're going to start off by doing a number two front kick. You're going to kick your back foot, put it right back behind you, and then freeze like a statue. Hands up. We're doing six on each side. Ready to go. One. 
and two, and three, four, five, six. Good, and switch feet, hands up, same thing this side. Again, do a number two, kick and put it right back behind you. Ready, go, one, and two, and three, four, five, six. Good, and switch feet, hands are up. Now listen carefully, we're gonna change it up a little bit this time. You're gonna slide in and you'll slide your feet together apart. You'll do two punches, a jab across, number two front kick, and then slide back out. So watch one more time. I'll show you from the side. You slide in, you do a jab across, front kick, set it down, and then slide back out. So ready, hands up. We're doing that six times on each side. Ready to go, one. One, two, three, and slide back. Good, ready to go, two. One, two, three, and slide back. Ready to go, three. And go four. Pow. And five. Pow. Last one this side, six. Boom, boom, boom. And slide back. Switch feet, hands up, same thing this side. Slide in, jab, cross, number two, front kick. Ready, one. Boom, boom. And go two. Slide, punch, punch, kick. And three. Punch, punch, kick. And four. Punch, punch, kick. And five. Punch, punch, kick. Last one this side, six. Punch, punch, and kick. Good job, everybody. Give me five more push-ups, go. Five more good push-ups. Let me see them. Let me see them, good, Evan. That's what I'm talking about. I knew you had some good push-ups. Nice. Everybody stand tall when you're finished. Everybody show me how focused you are. Show me how focused you are. Now listen, I'm looking for 100% of your effort. Let's do the sparring combination two times. First time is going to be a real quick review. Second time, we are actually testing for that strike. All right? So everybody put your right foot back in the yard. Get up. Oh, let's try to get safe. You got to get there fast. I want to see you move supersonic speed. Right foot back in the yard. Get up. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it slow together. Hands are up. Number two, round kick. Kicks it down. Now slide your feet together. Number three round kick. Now a number three jump front kick. Slide your feet together. Jump. Pow. Show me that fast chop. And punch. And kick. And run back fast. Run, 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 run. All right. Now again, make sure your camera's on. Rachel, I see you here today. Just make sure that you guys and have your cameras on so that way we can see. Hands are ready. Good. We are going to do the combination. When I say go, we're probably going to have to do it two or three times just so we get a chance to see everybody. But make sure you give 110%. Make sure you move fast. Move strong. Ready? Hands up. Right foot starts off with your right foot back. Hands are ready. Ready? Go. Oh, good. Number two round kick. Number three round kick. Slide, chop, punch, kick. And set it down. Good. And run back fast. That was pretty good. We're going to do two more times. Ready? Hands up. Now, again, continue trying your best because you never know if one of the instructors is watching you. So make sure you pay very close attention. Ready and go. And good. When you're finished, go ahead and hustle back. Quisk, hustle back. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Good, let's do it again. Last time, hands are ready. And go. And good, and hustle back fast. Quick hurry, yes sir. Run back fast. Everybody stay nice and tall. Everybody bow, say do my best. I've got some good news and I've got bad news. The good news is, we got a chance to watch everybody do the combination. The bad news is I think we got to celebrate our hard work so far by doing 15 push-ups. 15 of them. Everybody bang out 15 push-ups. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lizzie, you okay? I hope so. Are you all right? You might be muted. Just type it in the chat down there. If, if, you're, if, you're, if you're okay, that's all, that's all I'm really worried about. I just want to make sure you're good to go. Did you guys get a chance, Ms. Amber, to see her do her combination? 
Yes. You did? Okay. All right. Good. That's the most important. Okay. Good. Everybody, show me how you stand nice and tall. No wiggle, no moving a muscle. Everybody, show me ready. Stands. Get up. All right. Here we go. Let's crank through our form one time, just as a real quick review. One time as a real quick review. I want to see you guys move strong. Now, remember, we are looking for the most amazing stances and speed with our technique. So I want to see stances and your speed. So ready, stands, hands up. Let me see you step out and one. Good, make sure to good back stands, bend that back knee. And chop two, punch three. Good, slide block four. And five, and punch six. Good deal, Lizzie. Listen, you did a great job today. That was awesome, we saw it already. Slide up seven, show me your side kick, eight, nine. Boom and boom. Good, step forward, 10. And 11. And 12. Oh, show me your strong, severe hand. Make sure to really nice, low stance. Get your hands ready on your side as you look over your back shoulder. Turn 13. Voila! Good. Chop 14. Punch 15. Slide 16. Oh, yeah. Chop 17. Punch 18. Looking good. Slide and block 19. Voila! Good. Everybody's got their foot forward. Everybody's got their left foot forward. Right hand does that block. Good. Ready? Kick 20, 21. Boom, good, arms out, block 22. Left hand blocks nice and strong, kick 23, 24. Boom, make sure you punch that right hand really strong, slide your right leg up, slide up 25. Good, kick 26, then turn and block 27. Good, make sure those hands are out there strong, slide and block 28. And return to ready, that was amazing. Hey, real quick, I gotta highlight a couple of you guys. Rayon, you guys had some really good stances. Max, Danielle, and Nikhil, and you guys, your stances were crazy low throughout the entire fall, and that's what I like to see. That was awesome. Everybody, back away a little bit. Show me how you stand nice and tall. Good, right foot back in yell. Get up. All right, now let's do a little drill. We're gonna work on those round kicks. When we were doing our sparring combination, I did notice a lot of our kicks kind of did the whole frown motion. What I mean by that is your knee was coming up and it was at an angle. So it was coming up at an angle when we were doing our kick. We don't want to come up at an angle. We want to make sure that leg is flat so it comes across as we do our kick. So make sure when you do that kick, your leg is flat like a table. I want you to pretend that you're kicking over either a chair or a tabletop. So again, when I lift my leg up, my leg is flat as I kick my foot out and back. The second thing I saw, when you were doing your kick, a lot of us had a hard time re-chambering our foot. We only did a half chamber when we finished a kick. So we don't want to lift our leg, kick, bend it just a little bit as we put our foot down. We want to make sure we're kicking out, pulling it back, and then putting it down on the floor. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do repeat kicks, making sure that your leg is going all the way out, back, all the way out, back, and then set it back down when you're finished. So ready? Hands up, right foot is back. A number one repeat round kick. Let me see who's ready. Prudential, let me see. Get ready. Right foot back. Hands are ready. Good Lord. I like those shades. And dig it. Those are cool glasses. I like it. Ready? Show me a number one repeat round kick. Ready? Go. Nice. Number two. You're going to kick your back foot and put it in front. Ready? Go. Oh, yeah. Remember, we're doing a repeat kick. That means you kick out and back, out and back, and then put it down. Ready? Go. Slide number three. Go. Kick one, two, good. Listen, the focus you guys are putting on making sure you're kicking the out and back is incredible. That's what you got to make sure you're doing. Making sure you're doing two full kicks. The secondary part, making sure that our leg isn't coming up at an angle. We got to really focus on that part. Now, number four, when you take that small step, when you kick that back leg, make sure it comes across flat as you kick twice. Ready, go. Good. Now, number five, remember that foot's going to stay in front as you cross your foot in front. And then again, kicking twice. One, two, and then set it down. And run back fast, quick, hurry. Let's go a little faster. A little faster with those kicks. Three kicks, last time, ready, hands up. Number one, three times, ready, go. One, two, three. Oh, uh, look at the power, look at the control, I dig it. Number two, again, kicking three times, ready, go. One, two, three. Good. Now, remember, a couple of you guys, we've had lessons and we talked about your hand position to help you keep your balance. Making sure that you keep that hand out in front of you as you lift your knee up so that way it's easier to keep your balance. Don't keep your hands here because if you keep your hands here, you're going to lean. 
you're going to follow that direction. Use that front hand just like a tightrope walker would. They're keeping their hands to the side to keep their balance and stay in control. You're going to use your hands the same way. So again, make sure that hand stays up in front. Number three now, you're going to slide up, kick three times. Ready? Go. One, two, and three. Good. Number four, small step. Again, kick three times. Ready? Go. One, two, and three. Nice. Now number five, remember you're going to cross in front. Again, kicking three times. Ready? Go. Good. And run back fast. Run, 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 run. Good. Who's seated tall? Everybody, show me how focused you are. Piece of cake. All right. Now, listen, we're going to break down the self-defense just a little bit. Now, your self-defense, we have to make sure. Everybody come a little bit closer. Everybody come a little closer. Self-defense, in a couple of seconds, don't type it in the chat yet. I want you to think, because I'm going to give you the answer. Don't type anything. Just think. This is a question I want you to think about. I want you to think about what self-defense is. What is self-defense? That's the question. What is self-defense? What is self-defense? What is it? What is self-defense? Think about it. Remember, we're not typing in the chat. I want you to think for just a couple of seconds. Now, I'm pretty sure that everybody is thinking that it's something you do to keep your body safe, right? Is that what you guys are thinking? It's anything you do to keep your body safe? Well, you're right. It is anything you do to keep your body safe. A lot of the self-defense techniques that we teach, there's two parts to it. The first part is just to get the person's hands off. The second part is when we actually strike back. Now, again, we've talked about this in the past, but we are not going to tell you when it's okay to punch your partner back. We are not going to tell you that. We will give you the tools, so if you ever had to, and your parents say it's okay, that you can defend yourself that way. But I truly believe that it's everyone's responsibility, all of you guys, to make sure you guys can get their hands away. Now, what we're going to focus on is the most effective and fastest way to move. Now, initially, we have talked about when you do your self-defense, you put your hands straight up in the air. You put your hand straight up in the air because what that does is it gets your elbow hot. With your arm straight up, you would take a step as you turn and you elbow down. Now, we are going to take that one step further because, again, we're all about speed. Rather than put your arm straight up in the air, what we're going to do is we're going to lift our elbow straight up in the air. Now, again, the goal of that is lifting our elbow straight up in the air. we got to make sure that when I turn, I can bring my elbow down. The whole purpose is bringing your elbow up and over their arms. So that way their arms get knocked off. Now I'm gonna show you a little secret that's gonna help you create a little distance between you and your attacker. So watch very carefully. All right, so if this McKinsey were to grab me, watch this, I'm gonna put my hand up, or we can put our elbow up. Either one, notice my elbow is higher than her arm. So as I take my foot, I cross behind. Now again, my goal is to knock her arms off. Now do you see what this hand is doing? A lot of times, I see you guys do this. You put your hand up, you turn, you bring your elbow down. And this hand doesn't really do anything. You want to use this hand to help push their arms off. So again, as she grabs, as I bring my arm put around, now notice, you see my hands? My hands are going to help push across. So that way, I can actually do the punch, the first punch, second punch, boom, into the third technique. With this, without this hand, I will have a difficult time delivering my techniques. Watch again. This, I come down. Now watch this. If I go to do this, there's nothing here that's going to prevent her. Whoa! As I do my punch, she might punch me in the nose. It's a bad plan. So I want to keep her hands away from me. So watch one more time. I bring my hand up and around. Boom! Notice my hand is here. So now I can come across and do my first punch into my second punch. Into my front hand. You guys with me? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's super, super important. You want to make sure that when you bring your hand around, you keep this hand here. So that way I can go right into my first one, right into my second one, right into my third technique, which is the kick. So everybody stand up. Let's make sure we can do that. Everybody stand up. Everybody back away from the camera. Let's make sure we can do that. So again, watch. I'm going to turn around the direction you are. As I put my elbow up, I'm going to step. As I step, notice this hand is coming across my body. So I want to see you do that. Ready? Turn around. Let me see the backs of your heads. Good. Ready and go. Oh, yeah. So, again, you're bringing this elbow down. Wait, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the mashed potato. Hold on one second. This is all I want to see you do because I want to make sure your hand's in the right spot. If I were to take this hand, I'm going to put it right here. When I take my steps, 
and I turn my body, watch what this hand does. Whoop. See how it comes across my body? I'm going to keep it open. I don't want to have it closed because I'm not striking their arms. I'm simply pushing their arms out of the way. So again, watch one more time. When I take my step, my hand's going to come across, whoop, and I'm pushing their arms out of the way. Now the elbow is going to do the same thing. As I bring my arm around, I'm going to try to knock their arms off as I push their hands out of the way. So you guys turn around, turn around, turn around. I want to see you turn, bring your elbow down and push and freeze. Don't do the punches and the kicks yet. Ready? And go. Boom. Yes. Once you bring that elbow down, your other hand should be right here in the middle. Other hand should be right here in the middle. Good. Do one more time. Turn around. Turn around. Let's try it again. Ready? And go. As you bring this elbow down, this hand comes across. So your other hand should be right here in the center of your body because that's the arm that you're using to push their arms across. Now from this position, you can go right into your first punch and not be afraid to get hit. And then you go into your second punch and then to your front kick. So again, everything we do with our self-defense, we want to try to make it as fast and as effective as we possibly can. Now again, in the beginning, we're teaching you guys to put your hand up so that way you can turn and then bring your hand down to the side. But actually, that's a little too slow. So now that you guys have it, we're going to fine tune it and make it a little bit faster. Who wants to be super fast? Good. Put your hand down. Who wants to be able to get somebody's hands off of it? Yeah, absolutely. We all want to be able to do that. So again, this is going to work against somebody your size, maybe even a little bit bigger. All right, go back. Let's do all the moves together. So now we're going to bring that hand down as we go into our two punches and then our front kick. Get ready. Let's try it without putting our hand up. Just lift your elbow up and over. Ready, go. Do the whole thing, the whole thing. Some of you guys just turn. All right, so here's what I'm seeing. Now, this is important. I want you guys, I'm going to help one person, but everybody should listen so you don't make the same mistake. Brinja, you can't just turn with your hands down like this. This elbow, as you turn, this elbow has to come high up and over. Now, what I was saying was, I don't want you guys to put your arms straight into the air. You can, but it's going to be too slow. What I would prefer is that you turn, this elbow is coming across, boom, so that way you can knock your arms off right into your punches and your kicks. But you have to make sure your elbow is higher than a person's arms. So turning like this, with your hands down like this, this low, it won't work. So turn around, let's try it again. Let's try one more time. Last time, let's give, make it a good one. Ready? And go! Oh, that's better. That's better. Good. All right, so one last thing I'm gonna leave you with. When you guys do your self-defense technique, make sure it's not one, two, three, four moves. Make sure it's not counted out like that. You wanna try to do the combination as I turn. It's smooth and as fast as you can. So I'm gonna turn, boom, 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 boom. You want to try to execute all four moves at lightning speed. Can you guys all do that? Give me five. Boom. Everybody give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, you guys did a great job today. I am super impressed. If you guys registered for the strike testing today, all the instructors that were watching, they will reach out to you and let you know if by chance you didn't earn the strike today, which is okay. But we want to make sure that you guys um, uh, get a chance to do that. So they will let you know so that way you can register so you can join again and try either tomorrow or Friday or next week. All right. You guys were awesome. It was great seeing you guys and we will see you later. Bye guys.